good day. It is the 23rd already of May 2021, Sunday, a beautiful day in Virginia. Hope you're having a great day. Um, this coming week, a couple of things that I'm going to start doing. Uh, tomorrow's video, I'm going to compare and contrast the personality types that will do best in different types of federal investigative or enforcement jobs. A DEA agent, you know, might have a totally different, uh, a person might succeed in DEA very much, but not be so successful in another agency or vice versa. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. But today what I want to do is just look at something that just came out. You may be aware of it. You may not be aware of it. Uh, it's an Army recruiting video. And um, I'm concerned. You know, I'm concerned about the intrusion of politics into our military and into our law enforcement. So, you know, indulge me, take a look at this, and then uh, I'm going to comment on it. And it'll be a very brief video, I promise you. This is the story of a soldier who operates your nation's Patriot Missile Defense Systems. Probably in Saudi Arabia, Iraq, or Afghanistan. But... It begins in California, with a little girl raised by two moms. We can't choose who our parents are going to be. Um, I don't know what the relevance of that is, but uh, okay. Although I had a fairly typical childhood, took ballet, played violin, I also marched for equality. Wait a second. Okay. If she had marched for pro-life or for Second Amendment, would this be in the recruiting video right now? Well, I don't have to answer that question. I think you're intelligent enough to figure it out for yourself. I like to think I've been defending freedom from an early age. You know, you have a right to engage in a demonstration, but why this demonstration? Why not a Second Amendment demonstration? Why not a pro-life demonstration? Why not a traditional marriage demonstration? Are they not also uh, expressions of freedom? Okay, so now that we've seen that, uh, just a little reaction. I mean, I'm older than most of you, probably all of you. I've been around a long time. Okay, I first entered the military in 1976, long time ago, long time ago, the bicentennial year. Now, the first point: um, this whole gay thing with the military. Why did the homo? Why were homosexuals prohibited from serving in the military? Was it because society was homophobic? To a certain extent, yeah, but here's the real reason, okay? Military service is not just about working with someone, it's about living with them. I was in the Marines, we lived in squad bays back then. When we went to the field, you go to the field, and when you get cold, you know what you gotta do? You got a spoon, you know what that is? You go with another guy and you get into there because you're gonna freeze your ass off if you don't. Aboard ship, you live in a compartment that is so tight that you couldn't put a prison inmate in there without getting sued for unconstitutional treatment. So, you know, I think it would be unfair to have me as a young man, or even as an old man, to, to share a room with a woman, you know? Uh, and the reason for that is obvious. I would look at that woman differently than I would look at a man. I think inviting civilian politics into the military is a a recipe for disaster. It's uh, something we haven't done. And it also begs the question, you know, what type of person do we want in the military? Where should we recruit? Uh, which types of people are going to make the best soldiers or sailors or airmen or Marines? Well, this is the type of person you want in the military. You want a meat eater, okay? You want a man or a woman who's aggressive, physically aggressive, mentally aggressive, 
uh, someone who can take orders but is aggressive. So if I was going to recruit, I would go to a football game, a high school football game. The high school football players, good recruiting ground. High school wrestling team, good recruiting ground. Girls basketball team, a wonderful recruiting ground. A gay rights rally, not really a good recruiting ground. Okay, you fish where you're going to catch fish. And uh, there's a certain type of person that you want to attract. And it's been the same type of person throughout human history. Okay, you're either cut out for it or you're not. Now, yes, you can probably make anyone a soldier, but if you're going to have an all-volunteer military, you're going to want people who are going to succeed and who are going to be able to do what they are required to do. And that is to put their personal interests, their personal desires on the side. You want aggressive people. You want people who can fight. You want people who can win and not navel gazers. Um, so that's my speech for today. Tomorrow you're going to hear uh, something more, more interesting, probably. Uh, what characteristics makes for a good DEA agent? We'll comp compare and contrast that to what characteristics makes for a good marshal, a deputy marshal, because they're, the, the jobs require two different uh, personalities. So hopefully, you know, it's, it's been a rant, but hopefully it's been a useful rant a little bit. Um, Hopefully, you know, it's concerning to me. Maybe it's not concerning to you. Send your message in on, on, uh, in the comments section, and I'll respond to it. And, uh, otherwise, have a good Sunday, and uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow.